I want to point some other things out in regards to my case with my daughter. It is no accident that I had reported to Fred Upton's office in May of 2017 the fact that uh, Cass County Department of Health and Human Services, CPS office, was awarding foster kids to people who had already been convicted of child abuse, and gone, one of them which gone to prison, and other people who were awarded foster children who had um, lengthy uh, child abuse and drug addiction uh, records. Um, my problem here is this. I happen to feel very much like it was not a coincidence that at the very moment that Kendra Coots and the officer had walked into my door, I got a call from Fred Upton's office saying they could not help me. Now, that's not a coincidence. That seems to me more like a setup. And that occurred all before um, Uncle Richard had gotten to the point where they came and got him with the ambulance. And uh, Ronald had killed Junebug, a.k.a. Clarence Robertson. So I don't think any of this was an accident. I believe they did it on purpose. Just like LaVita Brookins kept trying to set me up with the food stamp card and through other means. And she was unable to do so and kept denying me benefits. I happen to believe that um, and, the, and, and the evidence is going to show there's too many coincidences that occurred in this case with regards to Fred Upton's office at Kendra Coots and um, Mitzi. And then there's that Chris guy who also uh, I talked to the day that my, uh, my mother, the anniversary of my mother's death. You know, I kept telling them people that the day that's on the headstone is not my mother's birthday. That's James Mattis's. Now, why would that be? I'm seeing patterns here because Ricky Miller's the 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 date of death on his death uh, on his headstone says September six, two thousand two, like he died a year from um Carl, when they died days apart. So there's a whole bunch of things that occurred here. You know, after you stand back and look at the whole picture, they're not coincidences. So you know, I know that they maliciously prosecuted me with regards to Tiara. And I also know that there's other people in my family that, that happened with. When are we going to start asking these CPS workers and these other government people why they did what they did? Because we've got the evidence. It's been verified. All my documents have been verified. So when are we going to start prosecuting people? Because my daughter's been kidnapped and nobody's talking about that. They, uh, Amber Barton, after I told her no, to have the court allow Robert and Emily Dool to take my daughter out of the state. I've never given consent for Tiara to leave the state. Not for Christmas last year and not now. So there's a whole bunch going on that these people are doing that's outside of the law. And is malicious. They've been purposely malicious to me and my family. Why? And when are people going to jail? God bless America. Have a blessed day.